She's the inspiration for the film Adrift and she was stranded for 41 days in the Pacific Ocean, aged just 23. My name's Emma, this is Tiki Bar True Crimes and I'm going to tell you the story of Tammy Ashcroft. Tammy Ashcroft and her boyfriend Richard Sharp met in South Africa. They both had a passion for sailing. Richard actually went to join the Royal Navy and follow his father, however was thrown out due to insubordination. They were transporting a yacht from Tahiti to San Diego. They set sail in late September and the first two weeks were absolutely bliss. On October the 12th, they crossed paths with Hurricane Raymond and with it came 145 mile per hour winds which Tammy said sounded like jet engines. They also came across rogue waves up to 40 feet. Richard was a much more experienced sailor and Tammy said she could see the fear in his eyes. He harnessed himself into the cockpit and told Tammy to go down below deck. Once going down there, she heard Richard scream, oh my God, which in hindsight she thinks he saw a rogue wave coming towards them. The next thing she knew, she was thrown across the cabin and knocked unconscious. 27 hours later, she woke up and found the cabin half flooded. She went aboard deck and there was no Richard. She screamed for him for hours, calling his name till her throat was raw. The navigational system was completely destroyed. There was no mast or sail. She was 1500 meters from the nearest land and she found a vial of morphine and genuinely considered taking her own life. However, she felt Richard's presence telling her not to and telling her to stay strong. She managed to cobble together a basic sail and also a pump to get the water out of the cabin. She also found a sextant, which is like a really old navigational system that they used about 250 years ago. Luckily, she was trained in it and it helped her find her way to Hawaii. During her 41 days, she had hallucinations of Richard. She would sit and talk to him for hours. She says the grief never really truly hit her, even though she had lost her soulmate because she was in survival mode. She said the days she spent on that boat alone really hit hard how much we need human contact. And if we don't, the mind starts playing tricks on us. During her time, she saw two ships in the distance, but they didn't see her. She had to seriously ration her food and water. She lived off peanut butter and cans of tinned fruit. On day 39, just two days before she reached Hawaii, she seriously considered taking her life again. She finally made it to Hawaii Harbor and was rescued. It took her five years to recover from that head injury. She struggled to read and had short-term memory loss. Rich's body was never found and she said he wasn't actually wearing a life jacket. He had taken it off to get water from below deck. She went on to get married and had two daughters. Unfortunately, one of her daughters at the age of 22 died from carbon monoxide poisoning from a faulty heating system in her apartment. That was the story of Tammy Ashcroft. If you like my content, please remember to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one.